Let's take a live look outside right now. Windy in many parts of the Bay Area, including in Dublin in this live picture. And for some areas, that means high fire danger. Meteorologist Mary Lee is here to break it all down for us. Mary? And Kenny, I'm keeping a close eye on those dry and gusty offshore winds that show you current wind speeds out there. So breezy from many locations and windy up in the higher elevations for the hills and for the mountains. So 16 mile per hour winds at SFO, northwesterly winds at 21 in San Francisco. Go 25 mile per hour winds in San Ramon, 21 in Concord, 30 right now in Antioch, and 28 for Fairfield, 25 mile per hour winds out of the north in Napa. Here's a live look with our Salesforce Tower camera looking north. You can see the camera shaking in the wind. Some of the strongest wind gusts that we've seen Mount St. Helena, 73 mile per hour wind gusts, Mount Diablo, 56, Pine Flat Road, 55, Hillsburg Hills, 50, Mount Tam, 41, and the Berkeley Hills, 30 mile per hour wind gusts so far. A red flag warning. It continues now until 7 a.m. tomorrow for the North Bay Mountains, East Bay Hills, and the Diablo Range. We're watching the relative humidity values lower as we go through the day, and we are going to see a second burst of those strong winds. I'll show you Futurecast timing it out for you coming up. Back to you. Mary, thank you. Right now, nearly 50,000 wine country homes and businesses are going dark in PG&E's latest round of power shutoffs. KPIX 5's Ann Makovic joins us now with the latest. Yeah, most of the people who are losing power in the shutdown have already lost it, but some will lose it later on this afternoon. This morning, it was lights out at 7 a.m. The current powder power outage areas here on this map, including about 100,000 homes and businesses in, in total throughout Northern California. And here in the Bay Area, that includes parts of Napa, Solano and Sonoma County. Additional areas of Sonoma County may see their power go out at 4 p.m. This is PG&E's fifth public safety power shutdown in the past two months. The purpose is to prevent its power lines and equipment failures from igniting deadly and destructive wildfires. Today's outage is far less impactful than PG&E originally warned us about areas of Alameda, Contra Costa, Marin, Santa Clara, Santa Cruz and San Mateo counties were spared as the weather conditions improved yesterday. But in the outage areas, fire danger is high and so are the winds, as are the frustrations from some of the residents and businesses. Quite apparent, but they are weathering the storm. Alpha Omega Winery tweeted this morning saying, we are still pouring our delicious wines today due to the power outage. Our phone and email are not working. And then they gave some alternate contact information for their concierge. Now, speaking of communication, California's utility regulators are demanding answers from wireless providers whose equipment failed during the power outages, leaving hundreds of thousands of people without a way to get emergency alerts or make 911 calls. The California Public Utilities Commission is holding a public hearing right now with exactly from AT&T, Comcast, Infinity, T-Mobile, and others. Michelle. And thank you. And remember, KPIX5 is your survival guide to the power shutoffs. We have a list of school closures and other resources on KPIX.com.